Okay. Now, when we say a vision statement, when we teach crafting a vision statement, the way I look at it is, <clears throat> it's it's a it's a it's your ideal life. Okay. When you've crushed all your goals, when you're living the lifestyle of your dreams, and you're really just you know, you get to do what you want to do with your time, right? And you're just, what, what do you do? What does that actually look like? When you're living the, your dream lifestyle sometime in the future, right? What does that really actually look like? And, and, and we've often talked about, yeah, I want to live, you know, my dream lifestyle. I want to, you know, travel. I want to, you know, but I mean, really, really spend some time to delve into it and really really articulate exactly what a day in the life looks like when you're living your perfect life or what you know take take your weekly calendar right take a weekly calendar and block it out and like you were like calendar blocking this is what would happen well, this is what i would do in a typical perfect week if i'm crushing it if i'm living the dream lifestyle this is what it looks like craft that out and spend some time on it right because here's the thing you when we craft a vision statement we want um, and, and we we talk about legacy, right? Because we want to start. Because what we do is we start with the end in mind. And of course, the end is your legacy. What do you leave behind, right? When you leave and you're no longer here, how are you remembered, right? And so, and the thing that really builds your legacy, the thing that crafts your legacy, is your uh, is the lifestyle that you lead, right? The life that you lead is how you're going to be remembered, which is your legacy. And so if you're going to reverse engineer your, your legacy and it's done through your life, you're going to reverse engineer your life. So it makes sense since you're going to, to craft a, a, a specific lifestyle that builds this legacy, you might as well craft an epic lifestyle that's awesome also, right? I mean, you might as well since, you're going, you, since you can, right? If you know how to do it, then it makes sense to do it. Plus, I feel like you have a responsibility to do it. So anyway, so we so so that's the we start with that picture in mind. So so that can, brings us to the the vision statement. The vision statement is an articulation of what that looks like. Basically, what's your point? What do you stand for? Right? I mean, what is the point of your life? What do you? What's your passion? You know, I, I, I think you should be able to live in your passion every day. And if you were able to live in your passion every day, what would that actually look like? I mean, so, so take some time to really figure that out and then craft that into a few sentences or a paragraph of what that looks like. You want to try to make it as concise as possible, but still understand, um, you know, still get that picture. So that becomes your, uh, your vision statement, right? And so, for instance, mine, mine is it's pretty short and sweet. I, I live every day purposely to uh, inspire and to empower others to step into their passion and and live even more healthy, wealthy and wise. And so that has evolved. Right. That has evolved through uh, every every at the, at the top and, and the bottom. And, the, you know, every 90 day cycle, we reassess what's important to us at the time and recraft the vision statement or adjust it if needed. Now, mine's pretty solid now. It doesn't really change very much anymore, except for maybe a couple of, you know, a word here and a word there. But, mm -hmm. but and that, be, that becomes your mantra. That becomes your self-talk, if you will. And if you repeat that, and, if, and you're diligent with it, I mean, it's easy to talk about doing that, but it's not really as easy as you would think to actually diligently do that every day. But mark my words, if you were to do that, reverse engineer exactly what the perfect life looks like to you and craft that into a statement that you can read to yourself every day and eventually memorize and that's always on your mind, that will change your life. If that's the only thing you ever do from anything you ever hear me say, just do that. It will change your life.